Alright guys, so what we're gonna be doing today, we need to build a house. I do build a lot in Minecraft, it's kind of my main thing that I enjoy doing. If you, uh, if you ever follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv for slash n 7 and 4 uh, I've got a whole series going on, Twitch, where we just build on this uh, SMP server. But I want to build with a bit more challenge, because... Well, it all started because I, saw, I noticed that I hadn't died a single time on that server. And I'd been playing on it for, like, years now. And I was like, okay, well, it, the, the map has changed within those years, but, like... I haven't died once on any of those maps. Except for the first one, but I was only on the first one for, like, a month. Before they reset it, or, like, restarted it for another server, so... I'll, I'm counting that as not being... A death, kind of. So, yeah, and I was like, well, I mean, I've been building this whole time, and I haven't died, so like, I could pretty much do this in hardcore. So, that's what we're doing now, we're just building in hardcore. I think I'm gonna rename the series to Building in Hardcore. If you're watching this after it's already been called Building in Hardcore, and you don't know, what what it used to be called bid so what I'm doing right now is I'm building a uh, staircase to go up and then well I should probably explain why pretty much and uh, the new the new thing with spruce wood is that it creates pod soil and the blocks around it and I want this area where we live to be just normal grass. Hence, I, if I build it up here, then it won't turn into pot soil. Well, I mean, th this ground will, but the rest of the ground will not. I mean, I know this doesn't... I, I mean, I know I just said that I like building, and, and then I go build something that looks like this. Just, just hang on a, a little bit, and trust me on this. Do we have any bone? Yes, we do. Awesome. Because now we can make this grow. It won't grow because of the torches, I think. But I still don't want monsters to spawn up here, so placing these two torches should take care of that. There we go. It's so weird, like, once you... Because, like, setting up an oak farm like that and just having the oak trees just spawn just constantly, just boom, boom, boom. It really makes you forget how, like, difficult other tree types are to grow. Because they are, like, so difficult to grow. So, I, I got a, a few questions about how... Well, I don't want to say complaints, because they weren't really complaints, but a few questions on, on how, um... Or on why, I guess, my um, playlist of this kind of starts and stops very 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 like abruptly always it's because the way I record this is on my days off I record this for like four hours straight and then I split it up into nice bite-sized episodes so you don't have to watch like a two-hour recording at a time I pretty much stream it but not actually stream it because I only stream on the server currently but that's 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 mostly because that's when like I know I can get viewers because people from the server will watch me and I can tell the people on that server. I need to get a few more followers before I can start streaming for an actual audience outside of the server because that way people will actually like find me and come and watch it and that's that's you know it's kind of the main point of streaming. Also that was very weird how that like how I kind of <laughs> bounced off oops off the bed because I jumped onto it too fast. So I'm just gonna feed these horses real quick. They're cows. I'm gonna feed these cows real quick. Just trying to get all of them. Mm, we should. I. I mean, I wanna. I wanna do a complete remap of this whole place. So I'm gonna like make our farm look a lot better. I'm gonna turn everything completely different. So like this farm, it's gonna extend out very far. We've got a lot planned for this episode. I feel like there's a lot of time gone past between recordings. There has, but all the parts in between have still been recorded. Because 
I don't want to be on this map or this uh, world without recording because, you know, I could lose some footage of me dying. Which I feel like is a fairly interesting part of a survival game, especially hardcore. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep keep mining a spruce for a little bit, just um, editing not now. Take over, do a time lapse or just cut, I don't care. Just real quick actually, you can see what I mean about the pod, so this is what it looks like. All right, all right, all right. We've got some, uh, we've got some wood now, which is nice. Actually, let me see if I can feed these cows real quick, because I do want to get that uh, 45 leather that you need for the, no, 46 leather, actually, that you need for a uh, full level 30 enchantment table. There are a lot of cows here. Do, do we actually get any books or anything? Nope. That's fine. What I do need to do, though, is just kind of extend this out. As in their um, living quarters, because there are a lot of them. And it's getting very difficult to feed them. Because there's so many. So congratulations, guys. You're, um... Oops. Well, hey, his fault for getting in the way. Okay. What pam? Boom, how good stuff. Now they're much easier to, like, feed. Like, like so. See, it's already working. So back to base building, huh? Um, I think I want to work with this similar kind of thing here. That I've already kind of laid out. So what I'm gonna do is just ex okay. Well, this is annoying. That's fine though. I need to break all these. Let me actually make a completely new kind of area for this house. So that's how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven blocks, which means that we could put another beam there, and then go one, two, three, and then put another beam here, and then, oops, wrong button. One, two, three, put one beam here, and one, two, three, put one beam here. Ah, oh, that's not three. How many, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So we could put this here and have it extend into the farm. 1, 2, 3. And then go 1, 2, 3. Oh, wow. I'm still bad at maths. Or math. And then 1, 2, 3. There, and then 1, 2, 3. Heck. Which means that our inner wall is going to start here. And if we follow this around, it's night time already. Damn. If we follow this around, we can make a nice kind of, what's it called? Foundation. But th there's stuff in the way of this foundation. And I hope that these grow that way. Like we have, I have to put something there to make sure that they grow that way. I also have to sort out all my chests. Alright, so, I need to make some more chests. I'll make, like, sure, I'll put a double chest here and just empty everything that I have into it, except for the stuff that I, like, absolutely need, and then empty everything else. I'm gonna go through and actually place all these into chests that make sense to have them in. Like that, and then I'm just gonna break this just as well, and then just kind of place this on top of each other for now. 
I'm gonna make an actual storage area because this is not fun. So get all these because we need all these. I need a stone cutter. I need the wall, the arrows. Um, <clears throat> I'll get some doors as well while I'm at it. Okay. Heck. So, do we have any coal? We probably have some coal in here. Do we have any anything in any of these? No, we don't. But we've got coal in a chest now. Which is fun. And some more coal. So. Let's start building this up. So this needs to go follow that. And these need to not be here. Like this. I'm not exactly sure what kind of base I want to make quite yet. But I'll figure it out. And see, I don't... Okay, this one... This... This is not good. And also this. But other than that, this would have been fine. So what I am gonna do here is get some dirt from one of these chests. for this in. Put some cobble here. Get this out, put some cobble there as well. Follow this up with a bit of more co cobble. Because this is going to be like our furnace area. And this is going to continue up against the wall, which is going to be mostly spruce logs. Not logs. And then I'm going to put all the smokers, the normal furnace here, a hopper on top of here. And then I can put like a cobblestone wall against here to make it a bit special. -er. So let's see, the first first floor, I want it to be maybe here. So, let's say around four blocks in total. Yeah, that's good. Here. To make that. Or we can use all cobblestone and then spruce wood on the top. But I think spruce wood on there looks pretty good. So let's fill these walls in. We're gonna worry about windows later. Speaking of windows, do we actually have any sand? No, we don't. Might be a good idea for me to go get some sand and just stick that in there. Now we do have to decide where the door is gonna go. I think having one normal door and then one back door is gonna be good. Yikes. Now we are gonna use a campfire as the base for, or like the the thing that actually creates the smoke out. We're gonna make the floor like this. And then the top floor, it can be made out of wood. Let's see, this floor is gonna be, you, you know, like a foundation wall. Okay, now the floor doesn't look great, I'm gonna be honest. We need to do something with it, but we'll do that later. Maybe just having an outline of wood, a stone would be better, but oh well. I just wanna get, like, we're not gonna detail this house or anything yet. I just wanna get kind of the the basics of it done. Now I think actually that this part that we are looking at currently, right now, um, well not anymore, I'm over here now, but I think this part over here is going to be the back door, and the front door can go like this way, maybe from the center here. I think that's a good place for a back door, or a front door I mean. Having an indented door always helps with uh, making the house look a bit more detailed, because that adds depth. depth. Oops. The back door doesn't have to be that detailed, but front door, I'm going to say, has to be that detailed. Which, of course, means that we're going to do something with the front door. Make it indent a little bit, maybe. So, watch this. We're going to have the normal thing like this. Actually, you know what? We're going to do. We're going to go a step further. Um, you guys ever played Skyrim? It's a good game, you should play it if you haven't played it, but what they have in that game is uh, their house style. The front door is always a bit higher than the rest of the house, which adds a lot of nice detail that I'm a big fan of, except that it's never there. Okay, bit.
what I meant to do, of course, is to extend this out a little bit more for that uh, extra detail. And like so. Also, sleep time. But then doing something like this, and then having the door on here, surrounded by something like this, it doesn't look very good unless we remove the center block there and do it like this. Because this part is actually allowed to be a bit taller than the rest of the house. Because it's supposed to be grand. It's supposed to look nice. Because it's the entrance of your of your whole base. So like why wouldn't you make this place look the nicest? I mean of course it's it's a personal taste and preference. But I think doing something like this around the front door always looks hella clean. And now when we got to build the rest of the house. Okay, yeah, that's too thick. So I'm gonna take this out and just put like logs running across like that. Yoink up here and like that. Now even a torch down here will add something to it. Like this. And now this looks pretty cool, like the entrance. I mean, we haven't detailed any of these other bits here, so it doesn't look as good as it maybe could. But even adding something like this, like these two trapdoors here, adds a whole lot of detail. And then maybe two torches. Take rid of, get rid of the top torch. If we put a sign, like a nice um, uh, spruce sign, here that says like notness house. I don't want to say notness house. We want to call this. What do we want to call this? Sleeping quarters. Living quarters. I hope that's how you spell living quarters. Now people will see that this is the living quarters. We can come in here and live, and then it gives that nice bit of like upwards detail. And then even having a bit of this, like, extend down. Like, if we wanted to, we could have this bit go down a little bit, like the place where we have all the all the furnaces. So, like, all this bit, like, from here, would follow, like, a, like a dip. This would even go with it nicely. Which means that we could actually place more more um, things down here so like we can put more um, so we could put more furnaces down here so we could even do something like this but we're, <laughs> we're running out of cobble here but then it means that we can have all this area turned into normal stone or normal um, wood and then indent all this we don't even really have to indent it by a full block. We can just go down by half a block and then just quickly fill these bits with extra furnaces, if I had any extra furnaces, which I don't. So I'll just put this there for, for now. Well, actually, like that. And now this bit looks like super nice. We can add some lava, maybe in like a pool or something, actually. I think this is a good place for a bit of a stairs and then wall action. And then I'll add a torch on top of the wall. Very nice. Well, this is a pretty good foundation for a good looking build, I think. Uh, we can rise it up and we can extend the farm out a little bit. But I think like that I think that's gonna be in the next episode. I I'm gonna try and like split up these a bit bit more clearly, instead of just cutting and stitching them together. So, I think for now this is going to be it for this episode. I think. If this is midway through an episode, don't blame me too much. 
But yeah, I'll see you guys next episode where we build the top roof and detail the space. Yeah, yeet! That was a masterpiece of a video, wasn't it? For more content like this, consider subscribing. Bingo, bango, bongo. Bish, bash, bosh. Peace. Peace.